graph might exhibit a number of types of symmetry or one type of symmetry and if we could identify the symmetries of a graph before we draw it we could significantly reduce um, the amount of work we have to do in graphing. The first type of symmetry we look at is symmetry in an axis and this occurs if the graph on one side of the axis is a mirror image of that part of the graph on the other side of the axis. So for example this graph on the left exhibits reflection symmetry through the vertical axis and this means that if I were to draw the right hand side of the graph and quickly fold the page over on the axis I would get the other half of the graph. On the other hand this drawing does not have symmetry in the vertical axis simply because the right hand side is not a mirror image of the left hand side. Uh, we can also identify symmetry in a point and especially when we're graphing we'll try to identify symmetry through the origin before we graph and this happens um, if we pick a particular point we say the graph has symmetry in that point if whenever we take any point on the graph and join it to the given point with a line and then extend that line the same distance beyond the given point we get a new point on the graph. And this graph is symmetric with respect to this point disregarding the color of each side. This is the same as saying that the graph remains the same when we rotate by 180 degrees. So if you actually rotate this picture by 180 degrees, that's a 90 degree rotation, and that's a 180 degree rotation, you get the same picture. And again, I emphasize we're disregarding color here in this picture, we're just talking about physical symmetry um, in the picture. How could we possibly identify symmetry in an equation prior to graphing? And our main symmetries of interest are symmetry in the x-axis, symmetry in the y-axis, or symmetry with respect to the origin, the point zero, 0, Well, one way to identify symmetry with respect to the x-axis is to perform the following test on the equation. If whenever I replace, when I replace y by negative y in the equation, I get the same equation, that means that for any point x, y, which satisfies the equation, or is on the graph, its mirror image x negative y is also on the graph. And that's exactly what the geometric meaning of symmetry in the x-axis um, means. That the graph is unchanged when reflected in the x-axis, or if I pick any point over here and take its mirror image on the opposite side of the x-axis, then that point is also on the graph. Let's look at this equation x equals y squared minus 1, we can see from its graph that it should be symmetric with respect to the x-axis. Let's run the test on it. So we replace y by negative y in the equation and I get x equals negative y squared minus 1 and that's actually exactly the same equation because negative y squared is y squared and so we definitely have symmetry with respect to the x-axis here. How would I identify symmetry with respect to the y-axis? Well, this is interchanging the roles of x and y if you like, so the same test should work with x and y switched and that's exactly what happens. 
So what is symmetry with respect to the y-axis? The graph is unchanged when reflected in the y-axis. So that means that for any point x, y, which satisfies the equation, its mirror image, negative x, y, and of course x is negative in this picture, um, is also satisfies the equation or is also on the graph. So suppose the equation is unchanged when x is replaced by negative x, then for any x, y, which satisfies the equation, negative x, y also satisfies the equation, so the graph must have the symmetry. Let's check it out, and y equals x squared minus 1. Note that that's the same equation as x equals y squared minus 1, except I've switched the role of x and y. Well, let me replace x by negative x in this equation, and I get y equals negative x squared minus 1, and that's exactly the same equation, y equals x squared minus 1. So therefore, I can conclude that this has symmetry with respect to the y-axis. What about symmetry with respect to the origin, the point 0, 0? Well, in this case, geometrically it means that given any point x, y, which is on the graph, if I take a point joining that to the origin and then extend it the same distance in the opposite direction, I should get to the point negative x, negative y. <coughs> so symmetry with respect to the origin means that if x, y is on the graph, negative x, negative y, <coughs> pardon me, must also be on the graph. So here's a test which should work. If the equation is unchanged when I replace x by negative x and y by negative y in the equation, then the graph should have the symmetry. Now note, I'm doing both replacements, not just one. I have to replace both x by negative x and y by negative y. Let's take this equation x plus y equals y cubed. Suppose I replace x by negative x in the equation. Now I'm going to transform this. And y by negative y. Then I get negative x, negative y equals negative y cubed. And that's the same as saying negative x, negative y equals, well, negative 1 cubed is negative 1. And that's negative y cubed on the right. Now I can pull this, pardon me, that should be a negative x, and I can pull this negative 1 out of both sides and I get negative x plus y equals negative y cubed. Now I can cancel the negative ones and I get that that's the same equation as x plus y equals y cubed. So that's the same, so I can conclude that for every pair x, y, which satisfies this equation, the pair negative y, x, negative y also satisfies the equation. Pardon me, that's a little mistake there. Um, and therefore, therefore this graph, the graph of this equation, has symmetry with respect to the origin. That means it should remain the same if I rotate by 180 degrees. And you can see that that's true um, just by looking at the graph.